Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Kath Noakes and I'm from the University of Leeds. And what's your job? I'm a Professor of Environmental Engineering for Buildings. That means I look at buildings to try and understand how they work and how we can use things like ventilation to stop us being exposed to pollutants in the air. And during the pandemic and even before the pandemic, I spent quite a lot of time looking at how we can use buildings and the engineering in buildings to control our exposure to infectious diseases like the coronavirus. If I followed you around all day, what sort of things would I see you doing? So you'd see me doing different things on different days. Some days I might be teaching students, other days I might be working with my research team to try and set up experiments or to set up computer models to understand how diseases transmit and to figure out the ways in which we can use engineering to control disease transmission. I also spend quite a lot of time talking with people who need to know this information. So talking with people in government, people in hospitals and industry who might design new technologies. How did you end up doing this job? By accident, really. I studied mechanical engineering at university and learnt about something called fluid dynamics, which is working out how gases and liquids move. And then I realised I could use the skills I'd learnt there in computational modelling for them, something called computational fluid dynamics, to work out how you could use um, these techniques to understand how viruses move in buildings and how we can use engineering controls um, to be able to reduce our risk of them. What did you like doing when you were at school? So I really like technical things and I like problem solving, but I also like, like creative stuff like art and music. Um, but when I was sort of, as I went through school, these things started to come together. I really enjoyed graphic design and maths and physics, and they all came together into me going into engineering. What's the one moment in your life that led to what you're doing right now? Actually, yes, there was. So I said earlier, I started off look, look, using computational fluid dynamics and I started off by looking at industry processed flows, um, things like making coated papers and drying coated products. But then I had a, a, um, an opportunity to take on a job where I was looking at whether we could use ultraviolet light to control tuberculosis transmission. And I never looked back from that point. I really liked the fact I could use my skills to then design things that might help other people and save lives. What skills do you rely on the most? I think probably communication skills. So I have to be able to talk to lots of different people and explain the engineering, so understand the real detail technical, but then explain how that can be used to solve problems in the real world. And I have to be able to talk to people ranging from my students all the way through to some of the policy makers who work in government. So actually learning how to communicate what you do is a really important skill. Have you got any clear highlights to share with us? So probably one of my busiest highlights is over the past um, 18 months during the pandemic. In April 2020, I was asked to um, set up a committee as part of the government's SAGE committee, where we're trying to work out how the virus transmits and how we can best control this. And perhaps one of the proudest moments is working with international scientists around the world where we raised the fact that this virus can transmit through the air and can encourage the world to, to take notice of airborne transmission and use things like ventilation to control it. What advice would you give to your 11 year old self? So I was pretty shy as a child and I never thought that I'd be in a job where I might be meeting government advisors, people like Chris Whitty and Patrick Vallance, I might be involved in giving advice like this over the course of a pandemic. So I think the advice I would give is um, always, you know, go where you think your, your interests lie and what things that you enjoy, but also sometimes perhaps just push a little bit outside your comfort zone and you never know where things might take you. Why would you recommend engineering as a career? So I love engineering because it's so varied. There are so many different aspects to it. And, and even if you look at the pandemic, there are people who've been involved in designing uh, um, to, things to do with vaccines. There are people who helped with ventilator challenges early on. And then there are people like me who are more involved with um, thinking about using computer models to understand how the virus transmits. And engineering is so hugely varied. There are so many different aspects that there's something for everybody in there. What is the best bit about your job? 
So the best bit for me is working with different people and it's actually seeing people like members of my team, some of my PhD students succeed in what they do and build their own careers. And I really enjoy that being able to work with lots of different people. Thanks for your time. Yeah.